The state government is keeping an election promise to Queensland's amateur fishers. Today, today announcing the sites for the last two artificial reefs to be created in Moreton Bay. In total, six reefs will be built as a trade-off for making 16% of Moreton Bay a no-go zone for anglers. A 50 hectare reef site will be established west of Peel Island. A smaller one, just 15 hectares, will be created near Coochie Mudlow. As part of the Moreton Bay restructure package, we increased green zones from 0.5% of the bay to 16% of the bay, but we also made a commitment that we would deliver six artificial reefs, and today we are delivering on that commitment. Queensland's game fishermen are happy. It really brings uh, world's best practice in terms of artificial reef um, to Queensland, and really we believe strikes a balance between conservation and proper usage of the bay. And the fishermen are happy because the fish will be happy with more protection to breed and grow. Parts of the reefs will be made of concrete balls with handy hidey holes. What they're like is not unlike a practice golf ball and so the little fish can swim into the holes and hide in there so the big fish can't eat them and bite them. The state government says its strategy for protecting much more of Moreton Bay is already causing the replenishment of fish stocks. CSIRO data that we, we are commissioning actually shows that with the introduction of the green zones we've seen an increase in size of both brim and snapper in the green zones. And game fishermen say that fish are already living at the Harry Atkinson Reef completed last December. These reefs start to work uh, very uh, very quickly. You get a, very quickly an algal growth uh, which starts to um, occur over them and so you get the whole food chain starting to happen. All six artificial reefs will be in place by the middle of next year. Karen Berkman, ABC News.